Yes, it's -a me, Mario! Once again, welcome to yet another dual boot video. Um, I think I dropped the Troy McClure act this time, it's getting old. Um, what are we going to see now? Um, we're going to see version 2.0 of an all new, totally pimped up setup helper app for the Galaxy S2 dual boot. A bit of rearranged UI, uh, some added options. I'd say first thing we just go through UI, look at every option we have, and after that, just like in the previous video, we just do it. We just install the dual boot so everybody who has doubts, doesn't know what to do, where to click, can just watch the video and then do the, the same at home. So, uh, first thing we have is this shiny new main menu with a lot of buttons, actually two more than last time, and a bit smaller. So the first one would be setup and install options, uh, which gets us back to the first two buttons we used uh, back on the first version of the app to uh, set up the actual secondary boot. The first one caches the currently running system away to the SD card. Then you install your system you want to keep as primary. Then you use the second down here to set up the cached system as actual secondary boot. Um, the third one just brings us back to the main menu. Um, then we have kernel options. We have lots of kernel options this time. We have two different kernels. Uh, the first one works very well with Samsung based stock ROMs. Anything that's based on original Samsung ROMs or even Samsung ROMs themselves are known to work pretty nice with that one. Um, the second kernel actually solves a big problem we had so far because AOSP based ROMs that wasn't, weren't based on Samsung ROMs didn't work that nicely. Using this second kernel you can also very neatly boot into AOSP based ROMs um, like yeah, whatever their names are. Um, everything, everything works, USB works, Wi-Fi works. Uh, the vibration thing works. That might be actually be uh, interesting for the girls. Oh, anyways, um, the third option is when you flash one of the dual boot kernels, the app will ask you if you want to keep a backup of the kernel you're currently running. So you can at any time when you plan on uninstalling or removing dual boot, use this third option down here to get your original kernel you're previously running back and other things like nothing ever happened. So this one again brings us back to the main menu. And then we got some more additional options. Uh, you can back up your secondary OS. Uh, if you want to keep a backup of your primary system, you go into clockwork mode, do a backup and everything's cool. That backup doesn't include the secondary system because the clockwork mode recovery, um, of course, doesn't know about the additional partitions we used and all that techno bubble yada 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 yada. So here you got a neat option you just tap on the first button and everything of the secondary uh, system, the system itself and the user data is backed up to the SD card. You can put them wherever you want and um, at any time when you want to restore them back just tap the second button and uh, I like you know a usual restore operation whatever you got in the backup is then restored as your secondary system. Then we have this uninstall option which completely removes everything that uh, is present. Well, almost everything. Uh, it doesn't remove the kernel. We had the option, the kernel options to restore the previous kernel that we might want to have saved. Uh, this one removes all the user data and the actual system data. So, uh, now there's even a way to completely uninstall and get rid of it again, should you no longer want it. This one is just a bit of information. This is a small rundown of everything um, I just said so far or going to say or just written uh, in, in the discussion thread about the dual boot on XDA devs. Um, if you don't exactly know what to do and you don't want to watch a video, you can just read just a bit info on what to do, how to do it, how it works and all that. So this was um, you know, more or less short rundown of the initial UI and coming up next is 
the actual thing we're going to do, install another dual boot with this one. Yeah, and get happy. So, we pretty much know the deal already. Um, we make a backup of the system we have currently running because we want to keep this as primary boot. And then we install the system we want to run as secondary. Um, I prepared a bit. I already made my backup of the system I want to keep as primary. Uh, I already configured a system I want to use as secondary and made a backup of that one. So instead of installing a system from scratch, I'll just boot into recovery mode um, and restore the backup of that system. Uh, just like we've seen that last time. Um, there's not much difference about that, but for completeness sake, we'll do the whole thing. Uh, backup, restore, restore, and I hope it was this one, because if not, I'm uh, going to have to do a whole take again. Um, okay, you know um, the following deal as well. Oh, we're going to cut a bit and shorten down because we don't have to see how the phone copies and restores and backups. Um, so, here's another cut. Yeah, if there happens to be um, some owner of, of some huge business around who wants to place his advertisements uh, during the breaks, like in TV when you watch a show, or is fading to black commercials and coming back in, um, I'm all ears. Advertisement spots are available for like, um, oh, I don't know, $25,000 or something like that. Okay, um, the restore is done, so let's reboot. Which, uh, again, like we discussed last time, takes the one or the other minute, hour, day, sometimes weeks. Well, okay, if your phone really takes weeks to boot up, I would start um, getting, getting doubts if some, something might be off. Okie dokie. So, uh, we'll do a quick one. Dum -dum 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 -dum. Oh yeah, this is, uh, you can see there's a few buttons missing. It's an older build of the same app, but should do the trick. We cache the current OS for installation as secondary system later on. Yeah, it says this may take a few minutes. Um, I'm going to spare you a few minutes. We'll shorten this to a few seconds. Hooray! And here we go. System caching done. Wonderful. So let's go back into recovery mode and restore the backup we were supposed to make of our primary system. Here we go. Back up and restore, restore, and I think this time it's this one. So, getting back our original system that we had before we started the whole installation thing that we want to keep after the whole installation thing because it's supposed to keep and stay our primary system we want to use. Fast forward now. Oh man, um, I'm happy that you can't see what's happening here. Uh, during the time we cut out, it's insanity, I tell you. The world's waking up outside. I'm uh, falling asleep inside. No, of course not. I'm not falling asleep, um, or else this would be um, quite a boring video. So, uh, restore done, let's do a quick reboot. Um, yeah, this would be quite a boring uh, video. Um, and I'm just noticing I'm I'm doing something very bad. I'm a very naughty boy. Um, I'm doing a hidden illegal product placement. Let's uh, hide our shameless advertisement of some German cellular carrier. We do not want that. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, here we go. My lovely boot animation that is still cool. Uh, and eventually going uh, to be done. Oh yes, and uh, my 
awesome unlock pattern. So, uh, what did we just do? We uh, cached away um, an Android installation. We want to use a secondary boot for an amazing dual boot. Since we just cached it away, we go back into setup and install options and use the setup cached blah 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 as secondary system. So, last time we've seen this actually does not take that long. So, I think I do not have to get my scissors out and cut the SD card in half because the second part I don't need because I want to show up in the video. I wouldn't be sure if that would work anyways. Um, so, um, I'm going to think of uh, some more senseless... Oh, here we go. Part 2 of 2 already. Yeah, this actually, I have no idea why, but um, setting up as secondary is, I don't know, 10 times faster than actually caching it. Anyways, here we go. Set up our secondary system done. This is very lovely. Now we head to kernel options and we install one of the two dual boot kernel since the other one is um, an AOSP based ROM blank Android no Samsung uh, I'm, gonna, I'm going to use this second one it's asking us if we want to back up the current kernel right now we do not have a dual boot kernel running we have a normal kernel running it's a custom kernel root kernel with clockwork mod and everything but it's not a dual boot kernel so if you want to get completely rid of it uh, without needing to use Odin or any other flash tools, we just say yes. Because now this third button down here uh, will always get us back the normal non-dual boot kernel. Uh, so we can completely get rid of everything. Um, yeah, and that's it. Like last time, this is it. As you can see, uh, when we started the whole thing, it was pretty dark. Now it's... Uh, not that dark anymore so it took us a whole night to install the dual boot it's uh, so much work so let's try a reboot to recovery um, it's it's really um, I can't see how anybody would want to try this at home it's really so much work these days setting up a dual boot on a Galaxy S2 um, it's uh, I don't know how you call it nightmare something like that Thank you.